Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Yusuf. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa yesterday visited the majlises of Al-Fadala, Al-Ramihi, al, al, al and al kabi families. His Royal Highness proudly recalled Team Bahrain's successes, expressed his confidence in their abilities and wished them success in their endeavours that support the Kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain continues to build upon the work of past generations to advance the Kingdom's development ambitions in order to create a prosperous future for generations to come. His Royal Highness noted the important role that the holy month of Ramadan plays in strengthening community bonds and consolidating the Islamic values of tolerance, respect and social cohesion. He expressed the Kingdom's pride in contributions made by Bahraini citizens towards the Kingdom's comprehensive development goals. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of developing the skills of Bahraini youth by investing in their training and to advance their creativity and innovation. The Majlis hosts and guests expressed their gratitude to His Royal Highness for his visit and thank him for his commitment to championing development that provides quality opportunities for Bahraini citizens. His Royal Highness was accompanied by the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Charitable Educational Trust, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and several senior officials.
the first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, chairman of the General Sports Authority and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the GFH Group Ramadan 10 km running race and held under the patronage of His Highness. His Highness Sheikh Khalid affirmed the importance of holding races by private sector companies to encourage employees and all community members to practice sports for their positive impact on health. His Highness hailed the outstanding organization of the event, the good turnout of participants, and the strong competition which reflects GFH's awareness of the importance of the sports. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa yesterday attended a Suhoor banquet held by the Royal Bahrain Naval Force. He was welcomed by the RBNF's Acting Commander, Rear Admiral Mohammed Ibrahim Al Bin Ali, and a number of senior naval officers. His Highness highlighted the important role that the holy month of Ramadan plays in promoting the noble values of Islam. His Highness emphasized the importance of a shared national responsibility for one another, a value that has been central to the kingdom's comprehensive development, led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, and supported by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He commended the efforts of the RBNF in serving the kingdom and its citizens by safeguarding maritime security and protecting the kingdom's interests. His Highness emphasized the importance of continuing efforts to safeguard the kingdom of Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty the King. The Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, presided over the Council's weekly session. The session began by approving the minutes of the previous session and the Council was notified of the letter received from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, which included a draft law approving the state's general budget for the fiscal years 2023-2024. The Shura Council discussed a report of the Foreign Affairs, Defense and National Security Committee regarding a draft law amending Article 127 bis of the Code of Criminal Procedures promulgated by Decree Law 46 of 2002 where the committee recommended not approving the draft law. The 10th edition of the Bahraini Farmers Market concluded at the Abdaya Botanical Garden. This year's Bahraini Farmers Market, launched on December 10th under the theme Our Harvest is Bahraini, attracted at least 250,000 visitors. 32 farmers, 4 agricultural companies, 5 nurseries, 4 apiaries and 4 activities specialized in dates participated in addition to 20 productive families in coordination with the Ministry of Social Development. The Minister of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture, Wa'al Nambarak, expressed delight over the success of the market which is the fruitful outcome of the success of the strategy of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister based on launching initiatives to develop the agricultural sector for the sake of boosting efforts to achieve sustainable food security. In this regard, he asserted that the ongoing partnership between the Ministry and the National Initiative for Agricultural Development contributed significantly to developing the market over the past years. Niyar Secretary General Sheikh Amaram bint Isa Al Khalifa affirmed that based on the directors of Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and Chairperson, of Niyad Advisory Council. Niyad stepped up its coordination with the Ministry of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture to bring about more successes to the Bahraini farmers' markets in the upcoming seasons to consolidate its status as an important platform for marketing Bahraini farmers' products. With the slogan, Our Harvest is Bahraini. The 10th edition of the Farmer's Market concluded, which was launched on the 10th of last December and continued until the 8th of April, recording an attendance of more than a quarter of a million visitors throughout the market season. This great momentum achieved by the Bahraini Farmer's Market 
comes within the framework of the national efforts aimed at developing the agricultural sector and supporting Bahraini workers in it in order to achieve sustainable food security for the Kingdom of Bahrain. The farmer's market, since its first edition, constituted an important platform in which the Bahraini farmer invests, has won many praises for the efforts made by Bahraini farmers and their keenness to provide abundant quantities of local agricultural products that are accepted by the customers of the farmer's market, especially during the holy month of Ramadan. In a pre-recorded message during a ceremony celebrating World Health Day, the World Health Organization Regional Director for the Eastern Mediterranean, Dr. Ahmed al mundri affirmed that Bahrain achieved the highest health ranks in the health and medical sector thanks to its strong system, technical infrastructure, and high readiness. He congratulated Bahrain on many achievements it made in the health field, which made it a role model in the field of health for all and by all. He indicated that the kingdom added an impressive achievement in the expanded program of immunization as it was able to maintain the level of measles and and rubella elimination in the eastern Mediterranean region. He stressed that Bahrain has shown interest in preserving primary care by providing effective and urgent protection for emergency developments, which is confirmed by the kingdom's immediate response to the pandemic. He noted that Manama, a healthy city, thus becoming the first capital in the eastern Mediterranean region. He added that Bahrain also excelled in the Health Universities program, as five universities were able to obtain the title of Health University at one time. He also highlighted the Kingdom's efforts in developing the skills of workers in the health sector through qualitative programs at the academic and practical levels. The Bahrain Annual Heritage Festival continues its events and activities in the Al Baraha Market in Diyar al Muharraq amidst a large turnout of citizens, residents, and tourists. The festival will be held this year in its 20th edition, organized by the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities under the title Ramadan Customs. The festival sheds light on Bahraini customs and traditions and the authentic folklore by evolving memories of the past with the presence of a large number of craftsmen, folk sellers, and artistic groups. The agricultural sector in Bahrain is one of the most important sectors that seek to achieve relative food security for the kingdom's population. Bahraini farmers utilize modern and advanced technologies in various agricultural projects in Bahrain, as a result of which they were able to increase the production of local co crops and the efficiency of agricultural resources, which in turn will achieve relative food security in the kingdom. The agricultural sector in Bahrain has also made many achievements as a result of Bahrain's unlimited support to farmers. Coinciding with the holy month of Ramadan, the Iftar Fasting Initiative was launched in various governorates of Bahrain, where several mosques witnessed a large presence by the Muslim communities residing in Bahrain. These initiatives embody the noble values of the people of Bahrain and the spirit of tolerance and giving. Charitable initiatives during the holy month of Ramadan contribute towards activating the concept of community partnership and enhance the spirituality of the holy month. The Kingdom of Bahrain attaches great importance to the development of a culture of giving as a solid priority by moving towards this establishment of humanitarian and charitable institutions to provide assistance to the needy as voluntary work has become an important indicator of the development of societies.